hi welcome to another session where uh, in this session we discuss about uh, the conductometric estimation of acid mixture myself kiran kumar p assistant professor department of chemistry atme college of engineering mysore so let us see the introduction first a conductometer uh, it is an uh, it is generally defined as uh, the determination or the measurement of uh, electrical conductance of an electrolyte solution by uh, means of conductometer is uh, called as uh, conductometer generally the conductometer is an instrument used to measure the uh, conductance of a given electrolyte solution so the conductivity of a electrolyte solution uh, it mainly depends upon uh, number of ions uh, present in a solution mobility of uh, ions the temperature of the solution uh, the charge carried by the ions so these are the factors which mainly influence the conductivity of a given solution or a electrolyte let us see the uh, principle first so the conductivity of uh, ionic solutions uh, can be measured by using a conductometer and h plus ions uh, which is a smallest ions it shows maximum conductivity though h plus is a smallest ion it shows maximum conductivity for the given solution at a particular temperature the conductance is uh, directly proportional to uh, number of ions uh, present in a solution the uh, electrolyte solutions they generally obey uh, ohm's law just like uh, metallic conductors which is given by v is equal to ir and if i if we see the relationship between uh, uh, r and i they are inversely proportional to each other where r is a resistance v is a potential and i will be the current so the measured conductance of a solution is related to the distance uh, between the uh, electrode uh, foil l and the area of cross section of uh, each electrode uh, what we call it as a in a ionic concentration hence the conductance is uh, inversely proportional to r where r is rho l by a where rho is a uh, constant uh, constant and uh, l will be the length and uh, a is the area of cross section at uh, together l by a is the dimension of a electrode if we see here this is a particular electrode foil here the distance is kept l and a is area of cross section right if these two are maintained at constant for example 1 cm apart we call it as cell constant a cell has a constant in it right so uh, if we move on to instrumentation part here it uh, mainly consists of a conductivity cell where the conductivity cell consists of uh, a two platinum foils in it which is supported with a glass for a mechanical support which is kept at a distance between 1 cm apart so the solution uh, in between the uh, two platinum foil is mainly uh, the conductance mainly depends upon the ions present in between the two platinum foils so Uh, the distance l between the plates and uh, area of cross section a so that's what uh, the solution between these two depends on the cons uh, the uh, conductivity and if they are kept constant uh, what we call it as cell constant l by a will be a constant so this is a typical uh, conductivity setup a is area of uh, electrode surface in cm cube length between the two electrode centimeter if they are kept constant so cell constant what we call it as a cell constant so k is l by a that's what i said l by a which we call it as cell constant so right so this is a typical uh, conductivity cell now uh, we shall move on to the experimental uh, determination here so in experimental determination of uh, conductometer so let us see the experimental determination fill the burette uh, with a standard solution of uh, neoh to fill it transfer the 50 cm cube of acid mixture into clean 100 cm cube beaker transfer it immerse the conductivity cell inside a beaker 
connect the conductometer, uh, conductivity cell to conductometer. Now, add the titrant that is uh, NaOH, add. So now, uh, titrate the solution against uh, NaOH solution. After each addition of uh, NaOH, note down the correspondent uh, conductance reading in the conductometer. Uh, <clears throat> there will be uh, two equivalence point uh, in this uh, determination. I will explain you in the next slide. So that, let us see the experimental determination. The uh, solutions required are, we need any acid mixture, given acid mixture. Uh, we need NaOH and a conductometer, conductivity cell and a magnetic stirrer. So, pipette out uh, given acid mixture into uh, a beaker, immerse the conductivity cell and connect it to conductometer. Note down the initial conductance in a tablation. After add 0.5 increments of uh, NaOH, after each addition, after each addition of uh, NaOH from burette, note down the corresponding uh, conductance value. Right? After each addition, note down the conductance value. So you get a <clears throat> sudden increase. Uh, generally, initially the conductance decreases. The decrease is due to the neutralization point or neutralization reaction between HCl and uh, uh, NaOH. So the conductance decreases. At a particular point, the conductance increases, start increasing. That's what uh, you can see here, increases. Right? Again, at a particular uh, point, particular volume, after uh, successive addition of uh, NaOH, the conductance again increases, right? Note on all the conductance value by 0.5 increments of NaOH addition. Once complete, record the uh, tablation value. So the, this is a tablation. For zero uh, volume, uh, the conductance of a given uh, acid mixture was about uh, 16.95. Uh, and after addition of uh, 0.5, you can see uh, there is a decrease in, there is a decrease in volume, right? There is a decrease in volume. So this decrease is due to uh, neutralization of HCl. I will explain it later. Initially, uh, in acid mixture, there is only uh, uh, electrolytes such as HCl and a weak acid, right? Due to a strong electrolyte, strong acid HCl, which completely ionizes in water, due to H plus ion, uh, the conductance initially will be higher, right? After each addition, you can see the graph is decreasing here. The decrease in graph is uh, due to the uh, neutralization reaction between HCl and NaOH. So NaOH neutralizes HCl present in a beaker, which in turn uh, we get NaCl and water, right? The, the H plus ion concentration is uh, reasonably decreasing by addition of NaOH. Hence, the conductance also increases, right? At a particular point, at a particular point, uh, there will be increase in there will be absorb, uh, uh, observation of uh, increase in conductance. You can see here, on addition of 2.5 to 3, 2.5 to 3, there is an increase in conductance. So this increase in conductance, uh, this slide, there will be slight increase in conductance. This increase in conductance uh, is due to the uh, formation of uh, sodium acetate. Right? Though acetic acid is a weak electrolyte, hence the, the uh, conductance will be very less. Since it is a weak electrolyte, it partially ionizes in water. And after addition of NaOH, uh, you can see here there is a slight increase in uh, conductance. This increase is due to formation of sodium acetate. Formation of sodium acetate. Where sodium acetate is a strong electrolyte, it uh, completely dissociates in water. 
as Na plus and CH3COO minus. Right? Due to formation of uh, Na plus, the conductance increases steadily. Right? And again, there will be a point. You can see here from addition of 6 to 6.5, there is a sudden increase in graph, increase in conductance. So this increase is due to uh, the when uh, <clears throat> acetic acid is completely neutralized to sodium acetate, there is no acetic acid remaining, but still uh, NaOH is added as a titrant. Due to uh, NaOH, which is a strong electrolyte uh, due to OH minus, the there is an increase, there is a drastic increase in graph, right? So this is the curve due to NaOH. So extrapolate them, extrapolate them. The point of intersection of two points here, these two, is the volume of uh, NaOH, we call it as A, and this we call it as B, from here to here B, from here to here A, right? So A, the point A refers to equivalence point of HCl, which is 2.5 cm cube. It means that 2.5 cm cube of NaOH is required to neutralize HCl. Further, this is the equivalence point of acidic acid, 1, 2, 3.5, right? By which uh, we can find out the equivalence point of uh, two acid present in a solution, right? Now let us move on to the calculation part. So here the normality of uh, NaOH will be given to you. Note down the normality. And volume of uh, acid mixture taken is uh, 50 cm cube. You have prepared uh, 50 cm cube of acid mixture. Note down it as uh, 50. And uh, you have two parts here. You need to estimate uh, hydrochloric acid and uh, acidic acid since it has acid mixture in it. So volume of uh, standard NaOH required to neutralize HCl V1 A from graph. So you note down the Value, value of A, that is equivalence point of HCl from graph. You know the formula, N1 V1 is, is equal to N2 V2. By using this formula, calculate the normality of HCl and find out the weight of HCl in uh, 50 cm cube of a given solution. Right. Similarly, uh, in estimation of acidic acid, you note down the value of B minus A, B minus A from graph, right? that is the equivalence point of acidic acid and uh, calculate the normality and uh, then finally calculate the weight of uh, acidic acid present in 50 cm cube and note down the results of uh, respective hydrochloric acid in uh, uh, 50 cm cube solution and amount of acidic acid in 50 cm cube solution. Thank you.